Wishing you a great morning. Thanks for joining us. This is Global News Morning. I'm your buddy Bill and we're talking music here with someone that uh, might have a hit on their hands. This is an interesting story. Please join me in welcoming Grant Boyer. Uh, the song you might have heard on the radio is called Alarm Bells. Uh, a great video as well. Good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, Bill. I'm great. How are you doing? Doing great. I'm just looking at the latest media base active rock chart here. Uh, you're sitting just below the Tea Party just above Metallica with the single. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I mean, no, I don't know. That's insane. It's insane. It's just like, it doesn't feel real. So, I don't know. So, it's, it's just, uh, which, Grant, just you're hopefully everything just... You're supposed to go on about how great the single is and how hard you work <laughs> on it and, uh, and things like that. So, go. Well, I mean, yeah, we did. We worked, we worked our butts off on on it and uh we're just really excited to see it doing doing so well so far and just we're just hoping it can continue to rise and uh just trying to enjoy enjoy all the momentum as, as it's coming so yeah it's i, I don't know it's just feel does still doesn't really feel real it doesn't feel real talking to you bill <laughs> like that <laughs> like it, i'm kind of glad that i'm in my own home i think i'd probably be pooping my pants a little bit more if i was actually face to face with you for real my head is I'm never drinking again We say it till the weekend I'll never drink again We say it till we're drinking I'm sleeping in Tomorrow I'm sleeping in Should we have prefaced it with uh, please drink responsibly uh, message before we showed a little bit of this video? Possibly, yes. Like it's obviously a, a, a joke song. Yeah. It's like it's supposed to be funny, but I mean, there is also nothing funny about addiction, and there's not like that. That's a serious thing, and I do understand that. I do believe, though, that with everything in life, especially the sad stuff, like you got, you have to be able to laugh because it's kind of all you can do. What I get out of the song is uh, the sentiment is um, a lot of people have felt the same way. A lot of people who might have had a few too many drinks say, oh, I'm never going to drink again. Next weekend rolls around. They're saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, like, the, it's meant to be a joke, but there is also underlying, like, real stuff there. Like, it's like there are, there is a serious um, message almost, right? Mm -hmm. Like because anyone who is who has struggled with with um any any sort of dependence on anything knows that and it's like and if you've never really felt it try being away from your phone for a couple minutes you know <laughs> we all have something so are people getting the songs oh, that way or are people just turning it on and listening to it and going oh i like the song it's got a great beat i've had people from the party side of it just like yeah man i love it i love it like yeah not never drink it again till the weekend yeah and then uh i've had people on the other side who are who are actually like recovered uh party animals that go to aa and stuff like that and they said man this song really talks to me like thank you i've had even even people who say their kids love it because it talks about sleeping in <laughs> and the kids don't like waking up in the morning. I'm sleeping in tomorrow. I'm sleeping. It was a song that was originally written as a joke, and it kind of accidentally hit a lot of chords along the way. It relates to a lot of people, and that was not on purpose at all. It was just a joke, man. The bare naked but, ladies in their early days uh, didn't want to be perceived as a joke band. Uh, you know, especially Stephen Page. Some of the album tracks. Uh, we're pretty dark in some cases yeah um, and they are great songwriters of course but uh, they didn't want to be confused as being a, a comedy band or a comedy troupe their rock band is what they wanted people to know them mm -hmm. as is there any uh, worry on your end that people are looking at you as a as a, a funny humorous singer songwriter I wouldn't say that I'm worried about it I mean I've always enjoyed making people laugh 
Like I, I love that. Like that's probably my favorite thing to do. It's just to be like, I'm like, ask my wife, like, it's probably annoying being around living with me because I don't turn off <laughs> and it's, so I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm worried about that. I, I mean, this, the majority of the music that I do write is a lot, there's a, it's a lot more serious than this. So I guess, I, I, I guess I just kind of hope that with our second, with the next single that comes out, I do hope that it is perceived and, and enjoyed as much as this first one. Cause it's not a joke song. It's more, it's like a more of a typical kind of love song kind of thing. So, I mean, I do hope that this next one, you know, I hope that it, it, it is enjoyed the same way, but if it isn't, then this will have been a heck of a ride anyway. <laughs> Before we wrap it up, uh, don't call Grant Boyer dad rock. What is dad <laughs> rock anyway? I don't know. You know what, if it doesn't have any uh, anything remotely electronic in it, then maybe that could be considered dad, dad rock. I know, I know there was when we were trying to push do like the the playlist thing. We got some comments where it was like, yeah, man, this is a good song, but you need to put you need to put some electronic stuff in there. And I, I thought to myself, well, that's not what this is. Like I love Magic Dragons and I love all that stuff, but that's not what this is. So maybe dad rock just means anything that's just guitars and drums and bass and singing. I don't know, what do you think dad rock is? Uh, I don't know, I'm not into defining things. Uh, dad rock to yeah. me would be something um, safe from the 70s, but... Uh... Right, yeah, no, that, yeah, exactly. That, to me, that's what that is, but I guess to, to like, to a 20 year old, you know, um, it might be something safe from the 90s. You know? Well, you are getting airplay, and that's great for a new artist. So uh, keep it up. Take care and stay safe. Thank you so much, Grant Boyer. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.